So what we're looking at with um, with uh, with this podcast and also and and a, a, a topic that keeps coming back is when are you ready to launch? So what what do you have to have designed before you go, or what do you learn as you're going? So um, you now defined you know this is what my customer wants. This is the way I'm going to deliver it. But yep. and then on the whole technology side, what you know. What did you? What were your next steps? How do you design it? And then, when did you know you were ready to launch? Yeah, I think when when we uh, when we sort of agreed on in the summer of fourteen. Okay, let's let's do this. We just put a stake in the ground, saying, okay, we're going to launch on April first, two thousand and fifteen. Ah, nay, April first is not the best date. Let's do April second. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we put a stake in the ground and we just okay. Listen, at that point in time, we need to have, have an MPV. MVP, we need to have some sort of an idea of uh, what we're trying to offer to our customers and in terms of communication, how we talk to our customers. And we need to to organize from day one the scalability of the platform because this is going to be a global leader in groceries. So if we start on day one just for one city, it's not going to work. Mm. And that is something that we did from the beginning understand we need scalability, we need the best tech people on board. We're going to meet a thousand people before we, re- we really recruit one, just to make sure that we need a world-class Champions League team mm. to do this. And could you do that because you are a repeat entrepreneur and you had you had financial means? I mean, how would you advise a company that, that doesn't have um, financial backing at that early stage of the I don't think bootstrap version of this. Yeah, yeah, of course. We also did the bootstrap version. And I think uh, recruiting talent has not so much to do with uh, with having budget to pay people because uh, I would say the best people come to Picnic because they want to change the world. They understand that the food system is broken. They understand there's a huge opportunity. They understand that, that within Picnic, they can build on the last infrastructure on the last technology, it's open source, so they can really live their own, let's say, uh, dream by being part of a high-tech uh, venture. 